Once again, this is Hashim Whitmore with BeTheWorldsGreatestBarber.com. Thank you very much for tuning in and checking out my channel. Uh, thank you for all the emails. Thank you for all the support and the love. It's me living out my dreams. So, hey, uh, I want to say I appreciate it because without you guys giving me the support, the love, to ask me to speak to your schools, to come in there, to do the webinars, to do all this information, to keep coming out with good, um, good value, good products, you know, I would be nothing. So thank you very much. Uh, great news. Uh, the the book, The Uncut Guide to an Amazing Successful Career in Barbering is in stores now. I uh, did it. It is out. I couldn't have done it without you guys, without the thought of knowing that the next generation is going to, uh, barbers is going to benefit immensely from this uh, piece of work. So, um, check that out. Go to Amazon, go to your Barnes and Nobles, check out your e-readers. It's on there. It's uploaded. Uh, at my website, there's some more information. There's some free samples, and it's great. So, I just wanted to say uh, thank you for all the people that made this possible. And uh, uh, you know who you guys are. And for all the people that it will touch in the future, thank you for uh, in advance for purchasing. Thank you for supporting. And uh, I hope that this is continues to give you years of longevity uh, and for prosperity in this business. So I know that it will. I know that more than anything. So thank you very much. Um, I just wanted to talk uh, to barbers uh, and barbers that are established, barbers that are already that are going to be coming in to barbering uh, about uh, something that's very important and that is having a system of your operations. Uh, systems, uh, and this might sound businessy, but hey, you know what, this is a business. So the, the systems are um, standards, quality, and behaviors that you do repeatedly over and over again, right? And just to give you uh, why is it important? Because this is how you'll lose clientele, y'all. This is how you'll uh, fuck around and you see your clients start going to other people because of your inconsistencies and the way you run and operate your business. So, uh, a client comes in. Uh, it might be a walk-in. It might be a referral. However they come in to you, you have an opportunity to get them to be not only a client but an advocate to bring more people into your, your, uh, to your business, you know, no matter where if that business is, out the garage, if that business is a mobile business, if that business in the shop where you perceive there to be competition, this is what happens. Your first, uh, your first encounter, you might do an amazing job. You get them, um, just, uh, you know, your consultation is good. You take your time, you offer them something to drink, you uh, do your razor work, your shear work, you might do a, a shampoo, you pull out all the stops, you brush off their shoulders, you make sure that the music is correct. All that is just amazing customer service and amazing haircut and they, they want you. They're like, hey, you, I think I might just found my new barber. And they come back, they, they ask you for business cards, they might even tell some people about you. That's visit one. Second visit, uh, you still do a great haircut, but you might get a little bit relaxed. Maybe you don't shampoo. Maybe you don't uh, you do uh, some of the small things, like offer them a drink or uh, make sure that they're comfortable. You know, and but they, they're still messing with you because you provide a great service, and that first time is still lingering in their mind. You know, third time uh, is you become more inconsistent. Maybe you're a little bit late. You don't check on them and let them know that you're running behind. You know, you don't have any shampoo because you haven't gone to the uh, beauty supplier. Or you're all out of razors and you don't give them the shave that they were looking for. You know, so each time that they're coming to you, you're changing their experience because of your preparation. You don't have a standard of your operating. You know, you might have, uh, and clients like this. They like to know that they're going to get consistent, reliable service every time they pay you for performing a task or a duty. So if you set a standard of what you're going to be able to provide, and this is in any relationship, you know, um, in the
they might not have the long-term relationship, but you will lose them because people love knowing what they're buying. So whatever that is, you set a standard. I'm not even if you're if you're coming out with a new product, a new blade, a new something like that, and you set a standard for that and what you're going to be bringing, it's much easier to a, bring up your quality of service and to, to gain more people to have more loyalty and things like that than to drop down and disappoint them and show an inconsistency in your uh, in your service and people won't don't buy inconsistency so it will take some effort on your end it will take some preparation it will take some some thought it will take some exercises of and learning how to um, create a flow of where are you going to be doing consistently? Consistently. So, I put that in the book. I put that how to do step by step, how to, uh, uh, what areas that you need to be consistent with, and examples on how to set up those systems, and so you know um, what people are expecting from you, and how to provide that over and over and over again for many years to come so you can have clients uh, for many years. So. Uh, just wanted to give you that information. I want you to go out and uh, to enjoy your day. Think about the systems of operations and how you cut hair, how you greet clients, how you finish clients, how you uh, do your record keeping, how you do uh, your savings. All those things come into play and those are systems. You know, physically, uh, you know, what you do for your body is all a, a, re a reflection uh, your whole life is the reflection of the systems that you have in place and the habits that you do. So, make good systems, have good results. So thank you for tuning in. This has been another uncut version of uh, Barbering. So, uh, continue to check out the post and uh, check out the book, The Uncut Guide. And I'm going to keep on giving you raw, uncut information to help you be successful. Take care.